Hello guys, we are back. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, we are back with our Crusader. Woot. And more Paragon levels. Awesome. So, one thing we're going to do is put all that into Wrath. Because more Wrath is always good. Um... We will get some more attack speed, and sure, why not get some crit? And we'll just keep our defense going the way we have been, where we keep it all even. We'll up that to 30, and we'll start putting into resource cost reduction. So we can start, hopefully, you know, getting a little bit better in our uh, managing your costs. That's the plan. Hopefully we're able to get to level two, or tw 10 today, kill a skeleton king. You know, I, I wanna at least, you know, get to the skeleton king today. That seems like a good way to currently go. Especially for like a 30 minute episode because I don't want to, you know, just sit there and fight my way through basically, you know, doing nothing for you guys. Like, I want to be able to show you guys stuff, so. Hopefully, you know, we find what we need. Yee! Ow! Leave us alone. Ooh. Oh, it's a decrease. Go figure. It's a two-hand anyways, and we can't currently use a two-hand and a shield. I can't even check the passives until we hit level 10, so... I think it's like one of the first ones you get is to be able to use a two-hander and a shield, so uh, I'm hoping to god that, you know, we're able to get it quick. Because the faster we can move to a two-hander, the better. I do have actually gear ready <laughs> for this character for once it actually hits 70. From what I've been finding, so... Just random legendaries in that. Although I think I have to change some stats. But that's not going to be a big deal. It'll be worth it in the end. And I think there's one of those dead ends. Nope, not a dead end. Awesome. So, how are you guys enjoying this series so far? Where, you know, we play through a crusader. And, you know, try not to die. As much as possible, at least. Dead end. Uh, hopefully no one wakes up before, you know, I'm able to finish this video. Because that would suck. I actually woke up at a decent time today, so this is the second episode of anything that I've been able to actually record today. And I may start uh, Minecraft Argarian Skies as well. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm on like try number three. I was originally not going to start it because I already like started the map. So then I was like, eh. But you know. Seeing how we actually, like I keep losing in it. I might as well. Uh, I'll take a stun chance. No reason in that. Hell, no reason in not taking it at the current moment. I 
Ah, uh, our little Templar friend. Let's go save him. Come here, Mr. Templar. Ah, crap. Our audio's off. I am free. Woot. Okay. We are doing better. Now, back to my mission. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what you know, brought you to this infernal place? I have questions for the Skeleton King. As do I. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? A falling star. And I mean to find it. We should actually be fighting on this with the fallen stars here weapons. too. He's free! Do not let him re Come on, die, thank you. I require more wrath. As soon as we get rid of these guys, it's not gonna be that hard, bad to you know continue on our quest. It's right down here anyway, so. I am Cormac, warrior of the Hello, Templar Cormac. Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. Very well. Gotta grab the waypoint. Well, might as well grab it while I'm here, you know. Wow, we're getting ripped off. Ooh, actually, we never had a helmet, so I will take a helmet. I thought you didn't get helmets until 10. Eh, whatever. I know they changed how leveling up gear ends up becoming. So, while we're playing Diablo, guys, um... About the 100% increase the of getting legendaries. Oh, hold on a second, just t slight talking session, and I'll get right back you to it. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this coven? The coven is my brotherhood now, Cormac. The powers we serve will soon rule this world. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the Coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Thank you for your aid. We find these tones. Then onward. Yes. It is good to fight with you again. No, we'll take the heal. Skill. So, as I was saying, how. It about the 100% rift increase, alright? Not rift uh, increase, the legendary drop chance uh, in rifts. Alright? Now, some of you guys were probably thinking, woo, you know, guaranteed chance. Um, sadly, it doesn't work that way. I know some other people have covered this. I'm just... I don't know, it's just something I personally think that needs to be covered. And Blizzard should, uh, you know, worded it better, personally. Because some people are more likely going to get confused. Is Not enough wrath. The way they mean by the 100% increase is kind of like magic find. Alright. So, basically, while you're doing rifts, your magic finds like 100%. Our opponents may be strong, but I will not stand down. So, it actually rest. just doubles the chances of every legend, like, legendary dropping. It doesn't guarantee your chance. Um. Although the fact that, you know, Kadala's increase of uh, legendaries was actually really, really nice. Um, especially for some of us who, you know, run a lot of refs. I run them all the time with my cousin, and friends, and actually people in the guild in general. So, 
Not enough wrath. On average, a day I'll probably end up pulling it like one legendary easily now from rolling my blood shards. The crusade so. my is is on. On. Can't roll blood shards until level 16. No. Which sucks because we could actually like roll an amulet or something right now, but no, not allowed. <sighs> Now, where is this place? That is the question. This is more than likely going to be a dead end, but typically there's books in these sections. And books is XP, so not enough wrath. I'm not really going to turn it down. As well as lore, so... By the light be damned! And I'm using this more of a, you know... Let's play while well, you guys get to also listen to all the lore. So, hoot. Basically, the lore in for the Diablo the series is. He alone the king's more ear wrath. and whispered no. dark and evil no. magics into Shut it, up. instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch, afraid to speak against the Archbishop. The counselors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. Basically, Diablo and a couple of the other main evils were all basically banished from hell. All right, during their little civil war. Had enough. So when we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king <laughs> lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. So, Bad luck as you, this happens, friend. all right, the Ablo and uh, the Haradrim basically comes along after God knows how much time of these evils being on the world and traps Diablo in a soul stone. Woo. Um, they do the same for Mephisto, I believe. Yeah, it's Mephisto and Diablo, I think, that are the ones trapped in soul stones. Another book. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my king. As we lay him to rest in his burial chamber, he manifested as a hideous skeletal demon. Gorash and my other knights were overcome at once, but I fought on. So, that happens. Diablo being, well, the Lord of Terror, basically corrupts this guy called named Lazarus, which is the archbishop for the skeletal king or the Yorick. And now I wander, cursed by my once beloved king. Evil gnaws at my bones, and I cannot risk putting my beloved Tristram in danger should I fail to contain that which tears at me. I must venture down into the labyrinth to die alone. Woo, we got heavenly strength finally. Time to start using it too, hand up. And eh, we'll, we'll get some health jump. regen. So what Lazarus does is basically he keeps slowly warping the king's mind. Right? Over time. And then like the king's son. Require more wrath. Right. I don't remember his name. It's like Aiden and something like that. Um, By the light be damned. Ends up going missing into this labyrinth under Tristram in the old cathedral. So an adventurer ends up going down there because Cain worries that, you know, Diablo could be involved 
and other stuff. But you don't really know much about that at the moment, so. Not enough wrath. Like you just start going down there, you find Kane at some point. Actually, no, Kane's already there. If I remember it. It's been a while since I played the original Diablo. But basically, you end up going down there. You find the Archbishop, but you don't find, you know, the King's son. I don't know. Like, some of this could be a little off, by the way, guys. But this but is like a rough just, just of it. Like I said, it's also been a very, very, very long time since I've played Diablo. Like, I was a kid when I was playing it. Um, so, you end up finding this random portal in Bad luck for you, friend. the labyrinth after you've been going down quite a bit. Which Cain thinks is a portal to hell. You go through this portal, alright? You end up finding Diablo. You kick his ass, of course. Then, you thinking that you're strong enough, alright? You, as the hero, or wanderer, end up implanting Diablo Soul Stone, like, into your head. Like, you just take it and just shove it right into your skull, basically. Now, that leads into Diablo 2, right? Where the Wanderer, or hero, if you so please, ends up being known as the Dark Wanderer, who is slowly losing his humanity to Diablo. My wrath is low. Which basically... You end up fighting in Daryl, Daryl, Bale, Mephisto, and as the game suggests, Diablo once again. Because the Dark Wanderer loses his humanity and ends up changing into him. So, whoot! And as for the lore for this one, you guys get to watch, wait, and see. I feel like, oh crap, it's gonna be in the middle. I'm glad that fate has brought us together on this path. Why is that? You fight with both honor uh. and ferocity. I know that a pure soul must burn within you. But basically, there's in Diablo 2, you end up being at this encampment of, I don't know, mercenaries, I guess. Would be the best way to put it. Make your peace, quickly. And you find out that people are going missing, being slain, and it's kind of weird that, you know, they're dying this quickly. So you end up fighting. You end up going into this cathedral. Hey, once again. And you end up finding... Indurial. Now... Along this journey, while well, heading to Indurial, all right? You end up having to find a special tree. Hold on, the oak sword. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leoric. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. So, you end up finding this guy in that area called Griswold, right? This is 
basically the portal on the to old treasure. We shall put you down, Hellspawn. When you find this, the old blacksmith from Diablo, called Griswold, in Old Tristram, who's been sort of changed into a person who, like, kind of like zombified, I guess would be the correct weird scientific term, if you so please. So, yay. So basically, Kane's best friend is now dead along the journey. Sucks, but hey. Because you can actually find sets and legendaries for Griswold in Diablo 3, so I thought I'd bring that up. So, after Endarial, you end up going that to... Was all of them. God, I have no idea where the hell you end up going. It's not Chaldeum. It's a desert. Is it Chaldeum? No, I don't think it is. Um, oh, another book. We have just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the king of Condoris. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. You will never defeat me! Uh, yada yada yada. Okay, so as You're I was saying, right, the moment you know, going to this desert to place, I think that's actually... Hold on a second, guys. Help me. Okay, that was weird. I disconnected. <laughs> Um, for some reason, you know, whatever. We still end up getting to come here. Whatever, I'll just you get that. will Don't never just defeat get me. You were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. But yeah, I think it's Act Two. Yeah, it's Act 2, because Act 3, you're in a swamp area. Looking for Thisto. So, you end up needing to basically help these people clear out their sewers, yada, yada, yada. And then you come across an ancient place called, I don't remember. But basically, you end up finding out about this ancient tomb. Son! Where there's like Diablo's been headed, or not Diablo, but where like all this evil's been showing up, I should be saying. And you end up finding Dario, which is in Dario's twin brother. So, Ooh. my wrath is low. God, I build a wrath so slow. So you end up beat, beating him, going into the Indarial's tomb or something like that. Indarial, um, I can't think what the name of the person is who's in the tomb. You end up going through there, get going to Act Three, which is you in a jungle, and then you end up finding like these old ruins. You end up going under, of course. Beating up. Mephisto. And look, Diablo's now kicking around and you have to go to hell. No surprise. Wait, well, not really. But heck, right? So, you end up doing that, go break through soul stones, the go kill Diablo, last. no soul stone required or anything this time, um, and then Bale finds 
the soul stone, I think, for himself. The falling star was a man. Interesting. I am. I... I was. I... I remember falling. Through several floors, at least. I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness. The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. Be calm. And come with me. Wait, how does he know where he's going? We're the one rescuing him. Two trash room. Ooh, video. I like videos. The fallen star was a man. Only a man. I begin to wonder if his fall is related to my crusade. I will take him to the old scholar. He may know. But basically, guys, Bail ends up destroying Ariat and all the barbarians. Destroys the world I've stone. Got some. I worked my hands to the bone in area these fine goods. And yeah. And then you end up going to Diablo 3. Probably wasn't exactly, you know, the best rundown, but whatever. It still works. Kane, meet the falling star. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Gotta equip my yellows. Um, actually, do we have anything we can make weapon wise? Two handed weapon? Yeah, I'll make a flail. Just because it seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> for this character. Vitality and damage. Yeah, I want to try to get strength. See, now that is a damage increase. Um, can we make a shield as well? Awesome, we can. Well, let's see what we get from this. Strength, block chance. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take it. The only problem is the fact that we end up getting a decrease in our movement speed, which sucks. But whatever. But like I said, guys, I want to at least complete up to the Skeleton King this episode. We're going to finish... <laughs> these conversations and then the episode will be done for now All right tell me everything you remember stranger every detail falling fire a sword of great power it was part of me but it shattered into three pieces as I fell it is vital that we find those pieces I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course. Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the goatmen to madness. All goatmen are mad. They don't need a sword for that. But I will search their fields. Now we get to go to fields of misery. Yeah, I want to show you guys the legendary that I got. That's going to be awesome to wield. But we end up having to change the intelligence. But eh, it'll, I think, definitely serve our cause for a while. Until I can find something better, at least. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, and listening to me slightly rant about the lore of Diablo. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the lore as we... 
playthrough of you know, Diablo 3. Alright guys, and I will see you later. Bye bye for now.